So everybody is talking about the new CMF Phone 1 on YouTube and I'm sure you must have watched lots of reviews and unboxing videos of this new smartphone. CMF, 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 CMF. But no one is talking about in detail whether you should buy this smartphone right now or not. But don't worry because I have researched on this new phone that is CMF Phone 1 and I'll give you proper clarity about this smartphone. Whether take its design, its processors or softwares, we'll talk about everything in detail. I'll also talk about the pros and cons of CMF Phone 1 so that you can make a better decision whether to buy this phone or not. And also, at the end, I'll share my personal opinion based on the experience. Nice. But first, let me give you a short brief about the new CMF Phone 1. So it has been announced in India and it's the first ever CMF smartphone. So if we talk about design, CMF does bring unique design in the market after a while. Since we could not see much of the design changes recently from the other smartphones brand. And at this time, CMF does come across as a breath of fresh air. Now let's highlight the USB of this device. That is that it has a removable plastic back which can be removed manually by removing the four screws. But keep in mind that first you have to take the SIM tray out and only then you can remove the back. And yes, it does take a few minutes to replace the back case. Even though you can remove the back case but you still cannot remove the battery. Now talking about the build quality, the back case we saw in the black and light green color does have a smooth matte finish but the other twos are of plastic. And the plastic one feels a little flimsy and they have low build quality as well. As we saw in the videos that lots of reviewers when they tried to remove the back case, their back case got broken. And since you can remove the back cases, there are very high chances that you can break them easily or get scratches if you change your back cases too much. And also because of the removable back cover, it only has IPX2 ratings. And due to that, it's not dust resistant and water can easily go inside the phone, which is a bummer in my opinion. And it's also a kind of trade-off that you get because of the hardware customization. However, the upside of this is that you can customize the back portion according to your preference. You can solely choose the color combination you want on your phone's back. And that way you can try out different color combinations to choose which one you like the most. I personally like the orange and black color combination where the rotating dialer was of black color and the back cover was of orange color. But keep in mind that these four back cases do not come with the phones. So you have to buy these accessories separately. But the price is not that much is just 1500 rupees for all of the four back cases. Now if you look at the bottom of the phone, we also have this rotating dialer, which also can be removed if you want to add other accessories. But those accessories also you have to buy them separately. So firstly, there's a phone stand which you can attach it to your phone and it's very useful let's say when you're using the phone while eating your food or just doing any other task. And it also supports the phone in either landscape or portrait mode, which is a good thing. And it only costs just 800 rupees. Apart from this, there's a lanyard loop as well which you can attach it to your phone but I'm not that much sure that how useful will it be for users but these lanyard loops with their phone are very much popular in the East Asian countries and lastly there's a card case which snaps onto the phone with an attachment so talking about display it has got a 6.67 inch full HD plus OLED display and its peak brightness is 2000 nits but if you go outside in the sun and then try to take a look then it can be a little hard to look at the screen. Now the phone does have a 120Hz adaptive refresh rate which offers you a buttery smooth user experience. But if you notice just below the display there's a small bezel portion which CMF did try to get rid of but could not and that way they had to compromise on this bezel. And that is why it's not uniform to the sides and the top unlike the nothing phones. So overall the display is quite good with just a few of minor hiccups here and there. Now let's talk about the performance. So CMF already compared with a list of processors where it rated their phone to the best in their benchmark scores. As this phone has a MediaTek Dimensity 7300 processor which is pretty similar to the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 processor. So there is not much of a difference between both these processors. And if we look at the price point, this processor will do justice to all of your demands whether you are a heavy user or a light user. At the the start it performed decent for all of the normal games but after a while it couldn't handle high-end games as we saw that after a while we started to see the frames dropping in the game but as I said for the price point this is fine so now if we talk about the software CMF phone 1 runs Android 14 out of the box with nothing OS 2.6 on top and in the OS apart from the minimal fonts and UI it gives you a stock Android experience without any bloatware which is a good thing about this phone and the OS is also fully customizable. You get monochrome theme and you can also change the size of the icons and widgets as well. So if we talk about the nothing OS and its UI, 
then it's definitely a plus point for this phone. Now let's talk about the camera. So it comes with a main camera of 50 megapixel and a front camera of 16 megapixel. Now coming to the image quality, daylight shots look quite well with good dynamic range. But there is no ultra wide camera in this phone. The front camera is also decent in daylight when you click any of the random photos. But when you do click photos of people with front or back camera, their faces exposure gets overblown and feels kind of mushy. And there is a shade of brown that you feel in the skin tones. And since whenever we buy the phone, we mostly click photos of the people. And all of these things combined doesn't make the photos very much pleasing. Now talking about the front camera's video quality, then it also makes your videos a little bit overexposed. But when we talk about the back camera, the video quality of the back camera is pretty amazing. It's super clear and crisp. So in this specific domain, the CMF Phone 1's camera does justice. But if we look at the overall picture, yes, the camera does disappoint. And also the fact that it does not have dual speakers. There's just one mono speaker, which is also a downside of this phone. And lastly, now let's talk about battery life. The phone has a 5000 mAh built-in battery, which is very typical for this price range. And the battery can last for a day with heavy use. But if we talk about the minimal use, then it should last for two days. You also get a 33 watt fast charging support, but to get that charger, you have to purchase it separately. Sad. Very sad. Which does add up the cost to the whole phone, especially if we combine with the accessories as well. And one thing to also keep in mind that it does not support wireless charging. So overall, there are many trade-offs that come with this phone in this price segment. So now the question comes that should you buy CMF Phone 1 or not right now or should you wait for a while? So if we talk about the price range, the 6GB variant comes under 16,000 rupees and the 8GB variant comes under 18,000 rupees. But apart from this, if we add accessories and if you also want the fast charger as well, then the cost could go up to 20,000 rupees, which is still budget friendly, but yes, it does add up the cost. So in my opinion, this product is a value for money product, but it does come with a lot of trade-offs. And if you're okay with these trade-offs that we mentioned earlier, then you can purchase this phone. But if there are things like that you really want wireless charging or you're looking for a phone that has very good camera quality at the same price and you're also looking for a sturdy phone that has a very good build quality then i would recommend that you should not buy this phone and instead you should look at the other alternatives that i'll talk about later which are also in the similar price range and apart from this there's also one more point that we should definitely consider and that is the ecosystem because as you know lots of people are there who want their own ecosystem of technological devices but also don't want to spend most of the money from their pocket on these devices and that is where cmf phone one can shine because cmf also has another products in the lineup such as watch and earbuds so if you have already purchased any cmf watch or earbuds that came earlier in the year or the second version which has launched with cmf phone one then you can also look to purchase the cmf phone one as it will create a good ecosystem for you and that way you can create a whole ecosystem of your devices just like apple samsung or google for that matter and that too at an affordable affordable price range which i'm sure is a dream for a lot of people and cmf does fulfill that dream and lastly there's hardware customization which is definitely the usb of this device but it's a bit technical because let's face it not everyone wants customization be it software or hardware they just want a good phone at an affordable price range that does the job and lasts longer in their day-to-day -day life so if you're a techie person and you really like hardware customization that in the past at one point of time we could do that in the phones and you also want to live that nostalgia of doing the hardware customization on your own by getting the feeling of opening up the screws and changing the back panel of your devices and then at the end making a good color combination from there so that you can impress your friends or any family member. And since nothing and CMF both brands bring design to the forefront and you're also looking for a brand or a phone that has a unique design. Then again you can consider CMF Phone 1 not just for software customization but also for hardware customization. Okay now we've talked about that should you buy CMF phone one or not and if you want to buy then who is it for and if not who should stay away from this phone but having said that let's also talk about the other alternative options that are out there in the market that you can definitely check out so you can try out vivo t3 as the specs of vivo t3 and cmf phone one are quite similar both have 6.7 inch oled display and both comes with a 50 megapixel camera the only main difference between the two is of the processor as the cmf phone one has a newer dimensity 7300 processor but still there is isn't a massive difference in the performance and the t3 also offers 44 watt fast charging now apart from this oneplus nord ce4 Lite is also another popular option 
as this phone does have an aging Snapdragon 695 processor. But it does come with a larger battery pack and a faster 80 watt wired fast charging. And there's a little difference in the price range. The Nord CE4 Lite comes just under 20,000 rupees, which makes it a decent alternative for Phone 1. Also, back in January 2024, the Poco X6 was also announced specially for the Indian market. And it's currently on sale for around 18,000 rupees, which also makes it a good competitor for the same Phone 1. And it has a similar performing chipset in it. The display is also the same, but you do get a better camera quality as it has 64 megapixel triple camera setup on the back side. And at the end, it has a marginally larger 5100 mAh battery pack and 67 watt wired fast charging. But other than that, all of the things are pretty similar. But having said that, these were the few phones that I found could be a good alternative for the CMF Phone 1. But at the end, it's your decision and I want you to take it wisely. So if you have any questions related to which phone do you want to buy and what are the pros and cons of any of the phones, you can let us know in the comment section. We'll definitely help you out in making your decision as painless as possible so if you've reached till here then definitely like this video share it with your friends and family and whoever who wants to buy a new phone and of course don't forget to subscribe to geekified for more such tech related content with that i'll see you guys in the next video till then keep enjoying your life